What's up, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? We're back again. Yes. This is episode number two <clears throat> of our Hellcat Red Eye Hood series. Facts. If you missed that video, go ahead and click this above. It'll take you right back to that just so we can show you, um, in case you get something like this, how to prep it and how to paint it. So um, we're going to go to Home Depot, grab a couple painting supplies. Facts. I know we definitely need some primer, uh, the gloss black, which is what we're going to be throwing on mm -hmm. the hood. That's why we're painting it. It's for the charger, the gray charger. So it's going to be like gray with the black hood. And there's more to come to that. So for now, all you can know is that we're doing um, the gloss black. Right. So without further ado, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's head over there. Self-etching primer from Rust-Oleum, from the Rust-Oleum brand, automotive primer, nice, stops rust, that's good. And then we got this one, it's new, it has like a new spray on it, custom 5-in-1, it's the Rust-Oleum, Rust um, stops rust, gloss enamel, it has like uh, the different sprays, pretty cool. So we're going to try that out. And then um, we got some acetone and some heavy duty gloves. But yeah, and then we'll show y'all what we're going to do next. All right, so we just washed it one more time and now I'm going to go ahead and throw some acetone on top of it. This is just to make sure I can break down any paint or dirt or anything that's left over. And just make sure that the surface is really clean so the paint can uh, attach to it yeah. as best. And this is what we're looking at. He just wiped it down with the acetone so you don't want to touch it and get your oily fingers on it. Now he's going to do the tack cloth. Yeah, I'm just going to do one section at a time because it's a little dirty in here. Get it nice and good. This kind of just picks up any uh, dirt that's left on it after we wiped it down with acetone. It's like a sticky little cloth. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after um, two coats. We try to go a little heavier on the second one, and then this third one, we're pretty much just gonna try to round everything out. Let's get and to yeah, it. Yeah, let's see. Okay. We did our third coat, and then now he's just gonna dip his sandpaper in some water, lightly sand it everywhere. Yeah, maybe like I don't want to smooth it up perfectly, but just to give it a little better uh, surface to lay on for the for the black. I'm not doing too much either. I'm just trying to get those big bumps out the way, really, like all this stuff. I'm trying to break that up. Okay, so we sanded it with some wet, and then he's kind of wiping it off with some acetone. Just kind of lightly going over some stuff, and then we're gonna go back over it with some more primer. We just wanted to give it a good, like, layer to stick to. So I guess this is a new can with these different uh, types of custom sprays on it. Got one, two, three, four, five, all different settings. And for this one, I'm, I'm gonna try to use four. We'll see how well that works. You know, we'll switch it up if anything, but. Yeah, it says vertical fan. And so it goes up and down. So it would be like going this way, is the way it's saying. We're about to get to the black, uh, the first black coat. So let's do it. Ooh, I like how it's thin. Nice light little layer for the first one. Okay, right, so this is after coat number one. It's looking good. It already looks kind of black, you know, not as gray. I like, I like. I mean, not to drive around in, but good first coat. 
Okay, so we let it dry completely in the sun. And then now he's just gonna lightly go over it with the um, tech cloth just because there's a couple little things there, but it's completely dry, I believe. Yep, all dry. He's just gonna go over it very lightly. All right, now we're gonna go over it with our second coat. Number two. You want a good overlap in doing this. You get the edges. So now we're on coat number four, I believe. Three. Oh. So now we're on coat number three. So we're just gonna go over it again. A nice little spray. Slow, long strokes. Get everything covered. This is what that coat is looking like. It looks pretty much all black from what I can tell. Just some parts are glossier than others. That's why we have the clear coat. Facts. But we're probably gonna just throw another can on top as well. Yeah, we're gonna keep going, but first, after this coat dries, uh, we're gonna sand it, and then, yeah, we'll go over it a couple more times. All right, so it's been about 40, 45 minutes, give or take. Um, but now we're just pretty much gonna sand it with the P600 grit. Trying to get everything kind of smooth, because it's kind of rough right now, so we're gonna smoothen that out before we lay another coat on. Washed it after we sanded it. It's looking all nice and good. Feels pretty even, nice and smooth. So yeah, now we're gonna rinse it. And what's the next step? So there's a little bit of stuff left on here, so we're gonna let it dry. Then we're gonna hit us with some more tack cloth once it's completely dry and pick up all that stuff. Go with another coat of black. Okay, so now we are going to take a tack cloth. It already dried after we washed it, so now we're gonna take the tack cloth. So yeah, let's see if we can pick up any like leftover material right before we spray paint it. And while you're doing this, you don't want to touch it after you wipe it off because it, you know, it's picking up all the oils and dirt. And so you're just gonna put oils and dirt right back on it, swipe it all down, and then we'll move on to the next step. We're just doing a couple coats, and then we'll show y'all what it looks like after. So this is the before. And just like that, it was dark. So we're trying to finish this though. So we're gonna keep going. Facts. We um, did a couple coats on the hood. Um, it looks pretty wet, but it's actually dry. Yeah, it's looking good. So we're just gonna hit it with some 600 grit sandpaper. We had to go pick up some more black. And we're just gonna try to get this thing looking as good as possible before we put on that clear coat. Just so we, cause we want the best hood, you know, simple. Fixed. It's been a couple days later. We were just letting the paint fully dry and everything before we go and attack it because we're about to hit it with the thousand grit sandpaper. Just because, let me see, come here. There's some kind of rough spots. Yeah, just like these little bits right here, just a little bit, smooth it out. But the rest of it feels really nice and it's ready for a clear coat after that. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm super impressed with the, with the can quality and the way everything's turning out. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. There's also a couple drops right here we want to get rid of. Yeah, the can messed up, you know. All right, so we sanded it and um, we kind of washed it down, tried to fill the spots we needed to sand again and then wash it again. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna let it dry and then we'll probably go over one more time with some black paint and then some clear paint. Okay, so it's all nice and dry. This is what we're looking at. He's just gonna go over it with some glass cleaner, window cleaner. 
Yeah, yeah nothing harsh, just to get the oils off again before we start. Then I'll go over with the tack cloth. And then we'll spray it down one more thing up. All right, now on to painting. He's gonna do it in three different sections. Kind of slow little back and forth, get it all coated. After we did the one more black coat, now it's all dry. The color is definitely there, definitely there. We just need to get that gloss. So we're using this clear. It's not just the regular clear that you would normally see. It's a good clear. The normal one's like $10, this one's like 20. But this yeah, one's the like reason is, is cause like we have to puncture basically like the clear coat inside of it and then mix it. So it's kind of like a, kind of like, you know, when you're mixing paint and you use multiple things, it's kind of what it, what it is basically. Two separate things and then I push this in and pop it against the ground. Oh, there we go. And then you take it out. And this clear coat is supposed to be really, really good. So we'll see how it turns out. The first one, I'm just trying to lay it on. Okay, you first. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the second coat of clear. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's still a little bit, you know, it looks really good, but you can just tell a little bit. It needs more clear, I think. But we're gonna go over it with some P1200, a real fine grit. Just be really, really soft with it, not too hard. So like we said, we uh, sanded it with the grit, 1200, and now we're gonna just Kind of wipe it off, clean it off so that we can spray that next layer of clear down. All right, so it's been a few days later and this is what the hood is looking like. Probably won't be able to pick up everything. I did have to just sand it right now and go over it again with uh, some more black and stuff because as you can see, there's a little bit of cracks in the paint. It's not perfect, that's okay. Uh, I'm honestly surprised at how well it turned out. I mean, I start, we kind of started with the bottom and as you can see like, you know that that didn't turn out too bad this looks pretty good it's just the top where i don't really know what happened i'll just show you what we got though i do have some compound and polish that i'm gonna apply and i've never done that again either so there's a whole bunch of new experiences for both of us so we're gonna figure it out but like see like stuff like that right there it's kind of like a little little pattern or something it's kind of weird then we got these drops right here because uh i don't know if the camera could pick that up but the can was spitting on us kind of you know that's what happens with spray paint in the can so this is what we got i'm gonna go over like these black spots with some clear so it'll kind of match and then um yeah i'll let y'all know when we get there okay guys so we're back um it's been a couple of days we've been working on it trying to it didn't come out like we wanted so we've been working on it trying to get it like you know pretty good yeah we probably sanded it a few more times we put some more clear coat on it uh stuff that i pretty much already seen 
But um, as you can see, like it looks way better. There were cracks in it before in some spots. Yeah, huge cracks right there, all along this. There were some cracks. So much better. Yeah, they definitely. I'm so glad today. There's not a lot of wind, as you can tell by the trees. So I mean, it really helped when you, uh, I was spraying. Now we have this, which if you look at the before, that, I'd say that's kind of what our hood looks like on yeah. the before. So we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna. Um, buff and polish it and just see how that turns out mm -hmm. and we have some swirl remover if we need that yeah that's going to be a more fine one that we're going to use after but speaking of like fine and stuff we figured out that there's different types of like sandpaper so there's like regular sandpaper that everybody sees right this is a sand sponge yes a little it's cushion on there right? a little cushion and then there's just cushioned sandpaper um so it's a little softer too we noticed a huge difference when using stuff like this versus just the paper because like it gives that cushion and gives it more even like smooth so you're not like where your hand is isn't like pushing harder pretty much yeah it's nice super nice yeah we love the sponge and the cushion ones and so this is what it's looking like right now in our next video we're going to be um using this bad boy on our hood and we're going to try and see if with the compound if it makes it that shiny that we want exactly so y'all stay tuned this is going to come to an end pretty much soon i'm hoping i want to do it and get it done today put it on today do all that I'm tired of having it sitting out here and the charger just looking like a 2016 uh, V6. Yes, we need that. Nothing so wrong with the V6s out there, but I got this hood for a reason. Yeah, in fact. All right, so that's going to end video two for us. Thank y'all for watching. We're pretty much just sanded and painted everything. Yes, and get it, get it looking like pretty much right. We just need to get that glow in the next video. So Exactly. Stay tuned for that. Coming up pretty soon. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, and um, subscribe. Subscribe.